Welcome to Famous Fortunes. I hope you are well. Soho House is coming to Sydney, Australia. Now, here's a here's an article. They've lodged plans for its first ultra-exclusive Australian location in Sydney, featuring a restaurant, a bar, a gym, cabaret facilities, and a rooftop terrace and pool to a long-standing Darlinghurst building. Darlinghurst building. There you go. So that is some that is news. So we're going to read today. How's Soho House going? I mean, they're ex looking at expanding eastern suburbs of Sydney. That wouldn't be cheap, I would say. It, <laughs> it wouldn't be cheap. Uh, you know, if you're not from Australia, that's fairly central Sydney. Let's just say that fairly central Sydney. Uh, it, it would be uh, quite, um, let's say. Uh, expensive and also it's home to Oxford Street if you don't know which is uh, fairly vibrant let's say a fairly vibrant place and that makes total sense uh, I think given the Soho brand to to do a Darlinghurst job Oxford Street I mean that makes I mean total sense uh, great freons and coffee on Oxford Street <laughs> folks I'll let you know that I mean that's something we can all get into freons and coffee on Oxford Street I can attest to that uh, but in any event, uh, let's move on. The bakeries are nice. Uh, the cafes are good, as you'd expect. Uh, it's it is it's it is, it's uh, what can I say? The more liberal the politics, and I'm talking in uh, American liberalism here. I'm not talking Australian liberalism. I'm saying the more left wing the politics, the better the coffee and the better the food. Isn't that true? Isn't that true, folks? All right. So let that be known. I mean, I. I'm not going to complain. I enjoy it. What can I say? All right. So moving on. So they're set there for Soho House in Darlinghurst, Oxford Street, or thereabouts. And they are going to do a $24 million multi-story mega venue. Wow. And so with all the things I've already mentioned, and they're going to change the facade of the building and redo its uh, exterior and make it more Soho housey. So it's a big development. What do you think? Should I should I join Soho House as a, as a kind of a joke? I think we should do it. Uh, how much is it a year? I think we could do that. It's not it's not exactly a lot of money. I think we could do it with the channel. Uh, what do you think? We could we could put some money towards it. I can go in there or film some stuff. <laughs> They're not going to let me go in there and film. I know, I know, I know. But it'd be funny, wouldn't it? It'd be funny. Maybe I can get an invite somehow to Soho House in Sydney when it's all up and running. I'll get an invite. We'll get in there. We'll do something. Imagine that. Uh, apparently, they say your name at the at the front door. So they'd be like, oh, okay, Lord Fortune's here. Good, good to hear, good to hear. So we're going to read. Let's read today. How's Soho House, the brand going? The business, the brand, how's it going? Oh, you can apply for membership. They have a membership page. That's great. New York to Istanbul. Istanbul. 40 houses around the globe. It's, oh, it's creative, creative clientele. Okay, creative sphere clientele. I wonder, are there other YouTubers that are part of Soho House? I wonder. Cards are hot. How is Soho House going as a business? Let's find out. Queen of Wands. Nine of Cups. Four of Wands, Ten of Coins, Prince of Wands. Oh, what's this Ten of Swords underlying energy? It all looks pretty good except the Ten of Swords. Okay, what a strange underlying energy. I mean, if we were just like ignore that for a moment. It looks like things are growing, a um, lot of business, a lot of revenue, very happy with it. There's a woman and a man here involved. I mean, I know, isn't it Marcus Anderson? And everyone talks about him as some like boogeyman. <laughs> isn't isn't Marcus Anderson the boogeyman of of this whole story? Uh, he kind of is. He's he's taken on this sort of enigmatic character level boogeyman. Uh, so okay, whatever, folks. But in any event, here he is. There's also a woman behind Soho House as well. Apparently, who's this woman or connected to it? I don't know. It's very strange. Let me see. I mean, is there any sort of way? Owner Ronald Burke. Uh, apparently, Ronald Burke is the owner, founder, Nick Jones. Who are these individuals? Who are these people? Parents, spouse, 
Janet Steeper. I don't know. I'm just having a quick look. He's an American businessman. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, all right. That's interesting. I don't know if we're going to really talk about that. But this is... Okay, what's this here? The Ten of Swords. That's a very strange underlying energy. What's what's finished here? What's over? What's what's ended? What's done? Is it is it like a... I don't know. I mean, I, I actually don't know how to interpret this. Is it looks good on paper, but it's actually kind of finished? I, I don't know. That's weird. What can I say? It's a very strange energy. Um, very strange energy. Let's, okay, the question everyone wants to know is, is Meghan Markle still involved with Soho House? Let's find out in what capacity. Cards are hot. Uh, Eight of Wands, Two of Swords, Queen of Swords, Temperance, Prince of Pentacles, The Hierophant is the underlying energy. The Hierophant. Is she still involved? Hmm. This is a bit of, I mean, it could be royal energy here. It could be royal energy. It could be, well, what, when she travels? When she travels... It's it's a bit more sort of a bit more of a no actually at the moment. It seems to me like there's a bit of a no energy at the moment. She doesn't want to really deal with them. Hmm. Interesting. Temperance and the Prince of Pentacles. It's interesting in that regard. Um Yeah, not what, not having a whole lot to do with them these days. Sometimes when she travels, it's, it doesn't look like a very strong connection. I will say that. It does not look like a very strong connection at all. It looks like a fairly weak, uh, tenuous connection at best to what's happening here with Soho House. It's uh, quite strange cards, I might say. Strange, quite strange cards. Uh, I mean, she doesn't look like she's financially connected, maybe. I don't think so. It's more of a sometimes, but most times not. Most times not. Has she moved on? Has she? Has she moved on from Soho House? One more question. Has she moved on from Soho House being relevant and useful? Cards are hot. Five of coins. Look at that. Four of Swords, the Star, the Queen of Pentacles, the Lovers. Okay, Three of Coins. It looks like what she's she's found her stardom and her her man and her money, so she sort of doesn't need to be a part of it anymore. Uh, yeah, to me, this doesn't look like she's really a part of it, which is kind of what it was saying previously. Uh, what is it? She didn't pay her fees. <laughs> Maybe she didn't pay her fees, and they were like, oh, okay, we kind of got to pay still. Doesn't matter how famous you are. Maybe she wanted it for free. That makes a lot of sense to me. Didn't see that coming. Well, I'll be honest. I did not see that coming. I should have. I should have, folks. Am I getting Am I getting sloppy? Maybe a little bit, folks. Uh, I need to be sharper. I should have seen that coming. But I, like, I do like to keep an open mind with some of these readings. So just let that all be known. And... Uh, I'll see you in the comment section.